Your website is shaped by the data available on it. In order to evaluate how well your website is performing, certain data on your website is tracked. I'm sure many of you already send data to sites like Google Analytics and Facebook Analytics. Now you can also send your website data to Sleeknode. To a certain extent, Sleeknode can connect our campaigns to your data. We at all times aim to develop more advanced features for more personalized campaigns. So I'm very happy to introduce you to Sleeknode site data. With this condition, you can show or hide your campaign based on the presence of a site data attribute and its value, which will result in advanced and highly personalized audience targeting. So let's have a closer look at how to implement the site data detection condition to your Sleeknode campaigns. I'm Katarina from Sleeknode Academy, the place where you will learn how to get the most out of Sleeknode. So why is this condition so exciting? Let me explain that to you with a couple of examples. Imagine that you would like to offer your visitors a deal if they purchase a certain amount of products. In this instance, let's say you would like to give the visitors free shipping if they purchase at least three products. However, when in the cart, finishing their shopping journey, they only have two products. If you use the site data detection condition, you can target precisely those visitors with the campaign in the cart page and let them know they're only one item away from free shipping. Pretty good reason for getting that one extra product, right? A similar scenario can be regarding a basket value, where benefit is given to those visitors who added products worth more than a certain amount of money. You already know that the cart abandonment campaigns are a great way to win back abandoning visitors. But if you don't want to give a benefit to all of your visitors that reach the basket, the site data detection condition is just the thing for you. Now you can show different messages to visitors based on their basket value. You can adjust the breaking point of let's say $100 and those visitors who are purchasing above this amount can for example be greeted with a campaign offering free shipping. The ones that have products worth less than $100 can be approached with another campaign nudging them to put more value in their basket. Let's go through one more example. You work B2B and have customers from different industries. The customers have an account and on that account you have tagged what business segment they belong to. Let's imagine that you only want to target users that are active in fashion e-commerce. You will simply send their business segment to Sleeknote site data, set up the condition to only show for that segment and you have a hyper-specific targeting campaign. Pretty cool targeting, right? So let's see how you can set up such campaigns in the Sleeknote editor. The site data condition can be found under setting up targeting rules in our settings. Simply press add another condition and find it on the list. This condition works hand in hand with Google Tag Manager, commonly known as GTM, which is a tool that manages JavaScript and HTML tags. The first thing we need to do in GTM is to create a tag. Sleeknode can provide a GTM template that you can import and adjust to the needs of your campaign. Today, I will show you how I set this condition up in GTM and Sleeknode. We need to set the data layer variable that is relevant for our campaign, and after that a trigger to make the tag fire every time that event happens. Let's imagine that I want to show my campaign if the value of the visitor's basket is $100 or more. In the GTM menu bar, I will select variables. The GTM may contain many different variables, depending on your use of GTM. For the purpose of the walkthrough, I will be using a variable called total basket value. Now that I have my variable all set, I need to make sure that every time something happens to my variable, a trigger will be fired. This is done by an event set up on the website. In this example, the event is called add to cart, and it occurs every time someone adds something to the cart. In this step, we are identifying the event that will send the data to Sleeknode site data. The last part of our GTM journey is under tags. With our template, there should already be a tag waiting for me, which I adjust to my needs. I will name my tag Sleeknode site data total basket value. There are only two things you will have to adjust. In line 5, we first change the variable name. This is what the variable will be called in the Sleeknode editor. 
Next, change dl underscore variable to the name of your data layer variable, which in our example is called total basket value. A common mistake is to misspell the variable. So pro tip to make sure this does not happen to you is to delete the placeholder variable and the two brackets and then select the data layer variable from the list that GTM will give you. The very last step is to add your trigger to the tag, which in our example is the add to cart trigger. Make sure to save the tags and publish the changes into effect. Now GTM is sending this data to Sleeknode site data, which means you can use it in the condition. So let's go back to our Sleeknode editor and finish it up. As I mentioned before, I want to show my campaign to customers whose purchase value is $100 or more. I simply choose whether I want to show or hide the campaign. In this case, I of course want to show my campaign. Next, site data attribute needs to be filled out with the name of the variable we previously filled out. For us, it is called total basket value. I set the condition to greater than or equal and the value of 100, as I want my campaign to be visible to those visitors who have added for $100 or more to the card. The very last step is to save your site data detection condition and you're good to go. This condition allows you to make even more personalized campaigns. You can choose to use whatever attribute that you will find is relevant. The value of your attribute can be either text or number. When using text value, you'll probably use the criteria such as present, contains or matches. With numbers, you will most likely use whether the value should be less or greater than the one you aim to target. I understand that this is a more technical condition. We have made a more detailed FAQ for you if you're still unsure about how to set it up. Let us know if you need more assistance. On top of that, we also made a blog post where you can find inspiration and many use cases. I believe that you are now all set for customizing your sleek note campaigns to target a very specific audience. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a great day.